Thanks for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, share, and like. Thank you very much. Welcome back. A friend of mine asked me about a password manager for a smartphone. I haven't done a technical video in a while because I've been doing rocket videos from National Sport Launch, so I wanted to take this challenge to do something technical. Anyway, I knew if I was going to do a video about something on a smartphone, I'd need a screen capture program on my smartphone to capture the screen. So this video will actually cover two topics, a screen capture program for smartphones and password manager for smartphones. So here we go. Super screen recorder looked like it fit the bill. So I went with that first option from the screen capture list. Number four on the list of password managers had the best description out of all of them. Key pass to Android. So first up we're going to open Super Screen Recorder. No videos yet. Here's the settings panel. Lots of settings to choose from. Here's your videos panel, your photos panel, and then you have a variety of editing options. Seems very utilitarian. So far so good. Uh, we have to go uh, analog for some of these things in order to capture here uh, you're using the little side menu starting a record and the side menu can disappear off the screen you get the countdown to video and then I'm going to just go ahead and stop recording again and it takes you back to your video list showing you your recent recording Let's check out KeyPass to Android. And when we open it up, you see it can't be captured on the screen. So there's a security feature for you right there. Your passwords can't be scalped. So we had to go analog again. Here you see several categories to add entries to. I've created this entry here. Now I click the little eyeball on the upper right to show you the password. No, that's not really my password. But let's see how this works. So I clicked on the URL from the entry. It's opening it in Chrome for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill into the login section here. Swipe down from the top. I get the copy username. Swipe again. Copy password. And there we go. I'm in. Didn't really need to know my password to get in. Just need to know the password to the password manager. Now here we can lock the database, which is handy. And then we can also swipe again and close the database for security. All right. So in this video, we got to put KeyPass to Android through its paces and it looks really promising. I'm going to try opening one of my existing databases from OneDrive to see how that works out. Also, we got to try a super screen recorder and that worked really well too. I've had a good session and I appreciate the challenge to try out new things. And I hope you will consider subscribing, sharing, liking. Feel free to comment below. And thanks again.